when you're making images of people to go in a film, um, you need to use the computer sometimes. For instance, you need 100,000 people in battle. You just can't go out and shoot that. These days it's just simply impossible. We need tens of thousands of soldiers colliding with each other and, and going into battle. I don't know if there's 10,000 people in New Zealand. <laughs> so, so we had to actually create uh, you know, these armies digitally. That means you need a program that's going to have a three-dimensional representation of people in it. You could actually just generate pictures of people. You could take existing pictures of people and multiply them. But that's not going to look as good as if you make three-dimensional people inside the computer. That's what Massive enables you to do, to build creatures or characters or agents as we call them that can do their own thing. We can have thousands of them running around in a three-dimensional environment where we don't have to tell them specifically what to do. We just say, go that way and fight those guys and they'll do it. I think the biggest shot that we did in film one was 40,000 people. The biggest one that we've currently done to date is 12,000 uh, inside Helm's Deep. And I don't think that we'll get much bigger than that because we just can't fit any more inside there. There are different traits for, for each of the agents and each of the battles. They all have their own style of fighting. Uh, they have different styles of fighting based on the weapons that each one carries. Orc fighting with a sword would handle it differently than perhaps a spear. All those things are built into it, so they know how to use their weapons, and they know how to use their weapons you know, against an, an enemy. It's kind of like sending the, the digital guys to acting class. So if you think of them as a cast member, you say you're going to be an Urukai uh, soldier and you're going to attack Helm's Deep and say you are now, you're going to get this armor on and your job is to go run up to this wall and either stick ladders up like you're going to you know, do the siege or start firing crossbows. You literally program that into their brain. This is uh, an example of one of the brains. This is the uh, orc sword. Um, each of these guys has a library of motions to choose from. These are all the actions that he can do. And this part of the brain decides uh, which of the actions uh, that he can do based on what he's currently doing. Um, each of these modules performs uh, a function like uh, navigation or targeting or uh, turning or uh, adapting to the terrain. Um, each of these uh, are interconnected and talk to each other. This brain looks a little different. It's a bit more complex. Each of these boxes represents a whole load of nodes. These are what we call macro nodes and inside each one is a little chunk of brain and um, varying amounts of stuff in each one. Some of them are quite complicated. This one here usually gets a bit of a reaction. So every single node here is computed on every frame and it all goes into determining what he does and how he behaves. Uh, each different kind of guy has a different brain, so the orc sword and the orc spear and the elf uh, each has a different type of brain. Within that there is variation, so each guy does something different but they share the same kind of brain. Well, originally the first thing I tried to do with the software was make something walk, and so I called it Plod. And in fact, in Weta you'll find it still affectionately referred to as Plod but we needed a more impressive name. One of the suggestions was Massive and it sounded impressive, so that's what we went with. And then I thought afterwards, well, what does Massive stand for? And I thought uh, maybe multiple agent simulation system in virtual environment. I don't know, there you go, that's what it means. We nearly called it Little Bastards. <laughs> <laughs> the, some of the scenes that we'll see in Helm's Deep will defy belief because these massive epic battles, tens of thousands of soldiers coming together in this huge melee of um, blood and anger and death and all of it's digitally created. Given that extra feeling of reality because every soldier is independently thinking for themselves. Every soldier is drawing from their own repertoire of military moves and determining how they will fight the foe. 